Yo, dudes, this is your pal Keanu wishing you a happy Halloween. I've got the ultimate Matrix decision to make. Do I eat a Mounds or do I go for the Almond Joy? Mounds or Almond Joy? I think I'm going to have both. Haunted Wings in the Night, source and date Sunday Express, 17th July, 1988. An astonishing tape recording of ghostly goings on aboard a Lincoln bomber that hasn't flown for 30 years is baffling experts. Former pilots who have listened to the tape, made by a radio broadcaster under strict scientific conditions, say it reveals the precise sounds of a Lincoln in flight. Among the noises picked up on the recording are muffled voices of an aircrew, engines droning, the clanging pitch, Morse code, clanging hangar doors, and switches and levers being operated. Yet Bomber RF-398, housed in the museum hangar of RAF Cosford, never saw any active service in the war. Local radio presenter Ivan Speechley from Chesterfield set up a tape to investigate claims that the aircraft was haunted. He left his machine running in the empty cockpit, and the staff locked both the bomber and the hangar behind him. He said, when he played back the recording, I shuddered. It was as if the old girl had suddenly taken to the skies. Human voices were clearly audible, but it's impossible to make out what they're saying. It's eerie. Spooky tales have surrounded the bomber ever since it arrived in the hangar to be restored 11 years ago. Some engineers have been too frightened to work on it. Several people have reported seeing a ghostly airman dressed in a battle jacket inside the hangar. The museum's administrator, John Francis, said, The noises are a mystery. I've got an open mind about it all. But the ghostly stories come from level-headed people who stick by what they have seen and heard. Subscribe to this channel before you look uncool.